welcome. In this video I'm going to overview the Circle of Champions WordPress theme and how it integrates with the content management system. This area right here is the menus and it is controlled using the uh, 3.0 menu system. Um, you notice when I hover over members we have a listing of each member. This is controlled um, from the menus options also. I'll get into that uh, in more detail when we make it to that uh, particular uh, page inside the admin. Um, in terms of this slider right here, you see you hover over the last image and it begins to move. You go back and it'll start moving this way. Um, when you click on someone's um, profile image, you're taken to that person's full profile. And here you'll see all of their um, profile data. Um, you click on the check, it will grow larger. And if you click one of the gallery images, they will also get larger. The profile picture right here, along with these thumbnails right here, are all controlled using the posts featured image. This area right here is controlled inside of the theme options panel. You can customize this text however you'd like. This area right here is the logo. Um, you can upload and replace this as well. And there's also an option inside of the theme options for this uh, custom favicon area. The title of the site is here. And this is the site description. And finally, right here, we have a widgetized sidebar, so you can drop any widget uh, widgets inside that area. Down here in the footer, we have another menu. And finally, the uh, copyright text for the footer, which is also controlled inside of theme options. So let's go ahead and get logged inside of the admin. So you log inside of the admin using wp-admin and um, use the credentials I've provided you. So here we're inside of the dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and open up the front end of the site in one tab and keep the, uh, the admin in another. That way we can quickly switch back and forth. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a test member because I think that that's the most important part of this so let's do it first so under posts I'll click add new and for the the title I'll make it the person's name put a little information I'm going to put it in the category members and I'm going to assign a featured image select the file from your computer select your picture and you're going to see that upload you'll now select the use as featured image link close this box out and you'll see it down here the next thing we're going to do is start filling out some of these areas so for example we hit the, um, the drop down number of units I'll say five 
add custom field and you'll see that glow yellow that lets you know that it's uh, actually updated amount earned say one thousand dollars add custom field audio file select that and now I'm going to upload the audio simply click on the um, the button for uh, upload slash insert we now select files select the audio file and you'll see that upload once that finish grab the URL for the file close this out next we're going to do the YouTube video um, because none of your posts currently have a YouTube video on it um, here on the live server this has never been used so I'm gonna have to add it manually the first time but you're not gonna have to do this again you'll be able to select it from the drop down from this point forward so it's the YouTube video ID and I'm going to just grab a video I'll grab one of mine I'll just grab one and to get any video URL all you have to do you can simply grab this ID right here that's all you need so you can just copy that and paste that as the value And click add custom field and now let's publish the post once we publish this it is going to appear in the slider and once again what makes it appear in the slider is this members area this members uh, selection right here so as long as it's uh, selected as long as you select members so now that's published let's come over to the front end and take a look I'll go ahead and refresh And here you Betty Butter had some butter, but she said there's butter's bitter. If I bake this bitter butter, it And here you see the profile. And here's the little information, my name. Here's my picture, profit strategy. All of that data is there. Here's the video. Here's the check. And here is the thumbnail down here. Um, as for the video and the checks, 
because some you uh, because some members don't have videos and checks um, I've made it test whether or not that particular custom key value is being used and if it is to display that value and if that value is false then to show nothing so basically if you don't include um, a check custom key custom key field and don't include a video custom key field um, they will not display nothing will display there thank you very much now let's take a look at the theme options panel to access the theme options panel you simply come under appearance and then click theme options and here are all of your options so for example here is where that text for the red banner is coming from here is that copyright uh, footer text here is the favicon the logo and if you have Google Analytics tracking code you can just put that in here and as for the home page options here is where you select the category for the slider so if you ever wanted to change that from being um, members and you decided you wanted to do something else with it in the future um, display some other um, categories images there um, you could select that category from here and then also the uh, content area um, that's this area right here and basically the only thing that's happening is that the most recent post from the set category is being pulled to display this home page text right here I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my profile so to get rid of a profile you simply go to all posts here you will see a listing of all of the uh, current posts here's Richard Morrison I'll go ahead and hover over and throw Richard Morrison in the trash and after you throw it in the trash it's still not completely gone you can go into your trash and recover it or delete it permanently it's up to you so here it is another thing I'm going to go ahead and restore it but in, in the case that you are working on a profile or some other content and are not uh, completely finished with it then you can always uh, make it a draft as opposed to publishing it that way it's not available on the front end to anyone that's not logged in as an administrator so for Richard Morrison I'm just going to do a quick edit and I'll change the status from published to draft and update the next thing we're going to take a look at um, over here on the home page it says circle of champion real estate success stories all of that copy is coming from here So under settings, you'll go to general. And here is the site title and the tagline. You also may want to update the date format and time format. Finally, let's take a look at widgets and the menus. So first, I'll go to widgets. So 
So right now you see that there's recent members that are showing here. I'm going to change that. And so that's this right here. And I'm just going to delete it. And I'll pop links over here. So simply drag and drop them over there. On drag and drop, it's now activated. Let's take a look at the front end. And now recent members will be replaced with blog row, which is the default name for the links. And it's going to display a listing of the, of the current default links inside of WordPress. So here that is. So pretty much any content that you want or any type of content just about can be drag and dropped over here as a widget. In the case that you would like a particular type of functionality that's not available here in the available widgets, then you can also you can always install additional plugins. And you see there's the footer, and then there's also the primary menu. I'm going to select primary menu. So here you see that I've got all of the members right here. And for each one of them, and this isn't all of the members, but these are the members inside the document to display, you can hit the little arrow to, and it will call, uh, drop down to reveal additional options. So for example, the navigation label, you can edit this text. And if you didn't want this here, you could remove it. With all of these, um, you can drag and drop the ordering, and you can also easily add other elements. This is for custom links. This one is for posts. This one is for adding pages and categories. So to add something, you simply put a check in the box and click Add to Menu. So I'm adding privacy. Now we see that here. And we can move privacy anywhere we want. So if I want it on top, there it is on top. After you make adjustments to the menu, you're going to have to save it. Please do not forget to save the menu. Otherwise, your changes will not reflect. And to remove an element, once again, just simply hit the remove. Thank you for watching. Contact me with any questions.